Is lamb not your first choice on meat? Well, I may have a recipe that will change your mind on the next Fit and Fire. Welcome to another edition of Fit and Fire, your channel for guns and gear and the fitness to do both. My name is Mark and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. So I've got the recipe of the week and it's going to be something a little bit different than what you're used to, especially if you don't eat lamb on a regular basis. This is going to be a spaghetti squash casserole with ground lamb in it. So here is the list of your recipe. All right, so this recipe is gonna be a little bit different than what we've done in the past. Our previous recipes have been able to get prepared uh, in a very short amount of time. This one's gonna run anywhere between an hour to two hours to prepare and cook. The first thing that you wanna do is get into your spaghetti squash. The spaghetti squash is going to be cut in half down the length of the squash. Take each half, scoop out the seeds and all of the innards of the core and place those face up or the insides up uh, and get avocado oil or if you'd like olive oil, either one would work, and coat the inner side of the squash with the oil. Salt it to your liking and then place those face down on a foiled cooking sheet and place that into an oven preheated at 375 degrees for 40, 45 minutes. While the spaghetti squash is in the oven, this is a good chance for you to go ahead and cut up all your produce. So from here, you're going to want to chop up a half of a yellow onion. You're going to get six mini bell peppers and chop those up. You're gonna take five cloves of garlic and mince that up. Uh, get some fresh oregano. We chose fresh oregano. You can use the uh, spice uh, kind in a, in a little jar or whatever if you'd like. But we went ahead and used fresh oregano and finely chopped that up. And then green onions for the garnish that would go on top of the casserole. Okay, once you have your vegetables all chopped up, uh, you can set those aside, get a small mixing bowl, and begin mixing all of your spices. Those spices are going to be one teaspoon of fresh oregano, which you've already um, mixed up, uh, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of thyme, freshly chopped, we just used what was in the little shaker, a uh, half teaspoon of Caribbean style jerk seasoning, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and then sea salt and white pepper. Go ahead and mix all those into the bowl, thoroughly mix them together, and then set that aside for a later step. Now that you have your vegetables and your spices done, let's move to the meat. Go ahead and get a medium pan and place it on medium heat. Go ahead and coat the pan with olive oil and add your chopped onion. Once the chopped onion is turned translucent, add garlic to the onion and allow those to cook together for just a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, add your lamb and your spices, mix all of that together and cook until the lamb is complete. Once you're done with the lamb, you should be getting to the point where the spaghetti squash should be done in the oven. You can determine that the spaghetti squash is done by being able to poke a knife through the skin of the squash. If you've gotten to that point, go ahead and remove the squash from the oven and get a large or medium mixing bowl uh, and set that to the side. Grab one half of the squash with a fork and scrape the squash into the mixing bowl, doing the same thing with the other half. So the entire squash will go into the mixing bowl. Now go ahead and add your lamb mixture and all of the remaining ingredients to include a whisk egg. Mix all of that together very well and then place that into a 9 by 11 inch pan. 
You're going to want your oven to be set at 350 degrees and then place the casserole into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes and allow it to cook. You'll know that it's done when the top layer of the casserole has turned to a kind of golden brown, but ultimately it's going to be at your judgment. Once you're complete with that, pull it out, take the green onion that you should still have left and place that on the top for garnish and it's ready to serve. And that's your recipe of the week. As always, tell us what you think down in the comments section below. If you like what we're doing, could always use a thumbs up. If there's a recipe that you guys would like for us to try and do a video of, feel free to hit me up either on social media or as always in the comments down below. I'd really like for you guys to consider subscribing, hitting that subscribe button right underneath the video. And if you want to get notifications of new videos coming out, please hit that bell button right next to subscribe. Wouldn't mind a thumbs up if you like what you see. And as always, keep on dropping those bells and shells. Here comes a high five for you. Ready? Here we go. Ground lamb in it. So here is the list of your recipe. Grass? Tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how I 